Hey guys, welcome back to Wolf's Tavern. I am Retro of Retro and Wolf, also associated with Geek News Now. You can head on over to geeknewsnow.net and check out all their amazing content. The links to all of our socials are down below. Today, I'm going to be making a family recipe of mine that for the, that for the first time uh, is going to be debuted for you. Uh, I've never put this out there before, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Got a lot to get to, so we're going to jump right to it. Here's everything you need. I am using a 16-inch pizza pan. All right, this is the size of a large pizza at your favorite pizza place. We have our skillet. You need something big enough to brown two pounds of meat in. Uh, we have our cooking spray. To make the dough, we have a bowl, flour, uh, two cups of cold water, olive oil, sea salt, uh, and that's all in our yeast, very important. I use uh, instant yeast, fast acting, because I don't like uh, spending a lot of time making the dough. So that's to make our dough. Then we move on to the sauce. I'm using Hunt's tomato sauce. You can use whatever tomato sauce you like. Uh, for our meat, I have one pound of ground hamburger, one pound of sausage. Uh, you use whatever meat you like. This is also where you would put any other toppings, whether you want to be mushrooms or peppers or pepperoni. We have our garlic powder, our onion powder, our crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning. These are all going to be very important when we get to this stage. We have one pound of mozzarella and half pound of cheddar. And of course, our pizza slicer for the very end. All right, so you may not have ever made your own pizza dough before. First thing you got to do, preheat your oven to 375. All right, so you may hear that timer go off while we're doing this. Uh, we're going to take our bag of flour. This is a two pound bag of flour. We're going to go ahead and put in most of this right now. Kind of your all purpose flour. That's pretty good right there. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take our yeast. We're going to put in the whole bag of yeast, all of it. And what I like about the fast acting instant yeast is that you do not need to pre-mix this in water and you don't need to allow for hours and hours or days for the dough to rise. We're just gonna kind of shake that in there a little bit. We're gonna add kind of just a dash uh, up to you how much up to flavor. Um, I add roughly a, a teaspoon of sea salt in there. And then we're gonna add cold water, two cups, right onto that flour like that. We're going to mix this up before we add the rest to try to get it to take and kind of mix together. It's going to start forming a dough consistency, and that's what we want. And you're going to add flour and water until you start getting that dough. You can see it starting to form up there. We're going to add some more flour in. We're going to end up using most of this bag. We're going to add a cap of olive oil. There, we're gonna mix that into the dough. That's to flavor um, olive oil and salt, just make it taste more like itself and really bring out the flavors. So it's kind of up to you what you wanna add in there. We're gonna pour in these other two cups and we're gonna work this into a dough. All right, so now we're working this into a dough. Of course, clean hands. We can put our flour here on the counter just enough to kind of create a coating so it doesn't stick to our counter. And we're gonna take this out and we're gonna work and knead this into a dough, adding more flour. If it's too uh, wet still, you can add more flour. That's just gonna help it stiffen up. And we're just gonna work this. We're gonna keep working it until we get a solid dough consistency. All right, so you can see we're getting the dough worked into a nice big ball of dough here. Now, how much you use is up to you. I do end up, uh, over the course of making the dough, use the entire bag. Uh, you can see what's left of it here on the counter because I needed to put more down uh, as the dough will pick up the flour on the counter as we go through. And you're just gonna work this and knead this until it's actually, we're not far from it, until it's actually pretty uh, consistent in how it feels, how it looks. You don't have any overly wet areas um, where the dough is just sticking to your hands. Um, and we're going to work it and knead it in because you want to get all of that uh, yeast worked into the dough so that the dough sets up correctly on the pizza pan. And we're gonna, next thing we're going to do as soon as we finish this is put it on the pizza pan, spread it out, and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so we've got our dough ready to go. All right, we're going to put it over. I've got my pan heavily greased up. You can use butter, you can use olive oil. I just use cooking spray. We're going to put it down and we're going to work it out. Now you can use a rolling pan to do the rolling pin to do this. Excuse me. Uh, I find it's easier. Just wash your hands really good, and you're going to work it and push it like this. 
we're gonna work that all the way around the pizza pan. All right, so we've got this pretty well worked up. I like to push it into the sides to create a bit of a lip. This. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our tomato sauce. Simple, one can of tomato sauce. Put it on the whole pizza. And then we're gonna use large spoon. You can use serving spoon, tablespoon, doesn't really matter. Just helps kind of push that sauce around to get a coating. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but you want up to the edge if it goes over the edge, that's okay. Uh, but that's one of the reasons I like to make the lip is it's a little easier to spread the sauce and have it stay inside your inside your pizza dough. So medium high heat on your pan. I'm gonna put in our one pound of sausage. And this is the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage that I like to use. They make an Italian sausage as well. If you can find it, it's hard for me to find it at the store here locally, but we kind of offset that by using the Italian seasoning. Uh, so we're going to get that in there, we're going to get a whole pound, and we're going to put a whole pound of beef in with it, and we're going to cook them together. All right, now we got this from our local butcher, so we have fresh one pound beef. All right, we've got the meat starting to brown. We're going to go ahead and add in uh, some of our seasonings. We've got our Italian seasoning. We're just gonna go like that. I don't have measurements. Do it to taste. I know what I like, what my family likes. I'm gonna add in our onion powder. And again, that was cracked red pepper. And then our garlic powder, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna brown up this meat. We're gonna grind it up, ground it up, and uh, we're gonna brown it, drain it, and then we're gonna add it to the pizza. All right, once you got all of that meat uh, ground up and browned together and your house smells like a proper pizzeria, we're gonna take all of that meat, we're gonna place it right on to our sauce here. We're just gonna kind of spread that around. All right, we're just gonna move that and just kind of push it around on top of that sauce. All right, now if you're gonna add any other toppings uh, at all, this is when you would do it. You're gonna add those on before you add the cheese. I'm just gonna do uh, hamburger and sausage. We're gonna put on a pound of shredded mozzarella. It's okay if it comes out in clumps like that because we're gonna work it and break it up anyway. We're gonna spread that around on top of our pizza dough. All right, and now I'm gonna add my half pound of cheddar. So if you do the math and you figure you got about two pounds of flour into the dough, two pounds of meat, pound and a half of cheese, this is already roughly, if you include the sauce, about a five and a half pound large pizza. We're just going to kind of mix all that in there, get it right to the edges, cover the meat. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna do a last dusting of the same seasonings I used on the meat. So we're gonna do a dusting of the Italian seasoning right on top of that cheese. Gonna do a dusting of the garlic, do a dusting of the onion powder. We're gonna do a very light dusting of the red pepper flakes. Just like that. Perfect, now we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, so we're gonna put this in, and this is gonna go for 17 minutes. Now every oven is a little different, so that's kind of what I found to be the secret with mine to get the dough just how I like it. If you like the dough a little crispier than I like mine, uh, go a minute or two longer, but 17 seems to be the magic number. We'll check it again here in a few minutes. All right, let's see what we got. That looks awesome. All right, let's get this uh, cut up here. Now, pizza this size, for the way my family eats, I like to cut it into about two inch squares. You get a lot more. Remember, this is a pretty thick, heavy pizza.
All right, get that cut up. Get a good look at the side of that. We've got our nice layers of cheese and meat, and that's about a good solid inch thick of pizza. Uh, let this cool a little bit, ready to go. Uh, so this is my family recipe, uh, pizza recipe. Grew up eating this a lot. My mom would make this and I make this a lot for my family. As you can see, I got a family of five. This feeds all five of us and then some. So until next time, I'm Retro from Retro and Wolf here on Wolf's Tavern. You have a great day and uh, enjoy.